Hello everybody, welcome back to Coffee Book Podcast. If you're new here, I'm the host Lauren Zhang, a 21 years old Vietnamese uni student. And first and foremost, I just want to send a massive sorry to all of my interviewing audience because oh, I didn't upload new episodes for two weeks. Yeah, it's been two weeks since I uploaded the latest episode of Couple Podcast. I felt so guilty for not uploading new episodes two weeks ago. Well, actually, I do want to make excuse for not getting my work done, for not meeting a deadline. Okay, I just want to, you know, let you know the reason why I didn't upload the new episode two weeks ago. Well, not only because I went back to my hotel two weeks ago and spent my holiday with my family members and my, my friends, I didn't have like enough time for sitting down and brainstorming the idea and producing the new episode. But I, I also got sick uh, last week. I got a severe cough, but now I feel better. I feel totally great now. And yay, I'm ready to catch you guys on the third episode of Coffee Podcast. How have you been? <laughs> this is just a usual question I want to ask my audience on every new episode, right? Oh, I forgot. Um, the last reason I I didn't have time to upload new episodes last week because there was actually some problems that happened to me related to my relationship. There was something that suddenly happened to me, suddenly came to me that was beyond my expectation. So yeah, I needed time to take care of it. Um, and now. It's a huge relief for me when I actually have time for catching up with you guys, my Indian audience. Okay, so let's start off by upgrading the current lights in Vietnam, particularly in Hanok City, where I've been working and living on my own. Well, last week there was an accident occurred in Hanoi, considering as one of the deadliest and disastrous ever happened in our country's history. It was a fire in a nine-story building in Hanoi, the capital of Vietnam, and it killed 56 people, including students, and injured at least uh, 37 people. According to the articles I just read on the internet, specifically the fire started just before midnight Tuesday last week in a building having about uh, 150 residents. So after this accident happened, our Prime Minister also visited the site of the place and called for the completion of an anti-fire regulation at small size apartment buildings in Hanoi. If you're living in Hanoi, you probably know there are so many small size apartments which are located in the, the very narrow alley. So this is also the reason why it took time for the firefighters to rescue the people trapped in the fire in the apartment. There was also a freshman at my uni passed away in this tragic accident right after the first day going to new school. And you know, it's really heartbroken to see her photos on social media and there were even children who lost their parents, their brothers, sisters, grandparents. It's really terrible and heartbroken. I think that's enough for what I want to update with you guys for what happened last week in Hanoi City in Vietnam. So this tragic accident happened in Hana last week is what I want to share with you guys about the current life uh, in Vietnam in Hanoi last week. Let's move on to the main topic today. Well, I suppose that there are so many young people who are listening to my podcast right now. Definitely relate to the topic of the new episode today. 
So today I want to talk about graduates and anxiety and it also uh, partly relates to the reason why I didn't upload the new episode two weeks ago. So I always consider myself as a overthinking type of person who is easily sliding into navel gazing process. What I mean by this is that I usually spend most of the time a day or even a week for considering my own thoughts, ideas, feelings, problems. Like I find it really hard to come up with the, the solution to tackle my problem. And most of the time I feel like it's really difficult for me to get out of my messy thoughts and ideas inside my head. So I think this was the reason why I started getting some, you know, anxiety, feeling some nervous about graduating from college. A lot of stuff just coming into my head at that time. So I just want to share with you guys what I feel, what I think related to this field. Okay, in case you don't know, I'm currently a senior and I'm studying international relations at AJC, short for Academy of Journalism and Communications in Hanoi. Well, to be honest with you, my uni is not the, the best institutions for educating this major and maybe this reason also had some impact on my authority in terms of graduating from college. Okay, let me share with you guys my story about my journey at uni lasting for four years. Well, actually, when I was a high school grader, I was really interested in TV podcasting and journalism, communication as well. So at that time, I decided to nourish my passion for journalism and TV broadcasting to apply for the universities or the college. So my target at that time was AJC, my uni right now. However, one day, I didn't remember at all, but if my memory has been right, I suppose the reason why I decided to change my major as uni is because when I saw a, a foreign correspondent on VTV1, his name is Le Hong Guang, who is well known for being a Vietnamese foreign correspondent working and living in Europe. So I think I had a deep root emotion for him and I started having patience for being a foreign correspondent just like him. So this one I I gradually knew about the, the international relations major at AJC and at, at the last minute when I had to enjoy in the the major that I wanted to apply for AJC. So my last choice was international relations major, which I suppose would help me to become a foreign correspondent after graduating. This is a bit embarrassing to show you guys about this spot. Okay, personally, I think I was a bit confused about the major I passed through at AJC. And now, even I'm a senior now, I even feel more confused. And it seems like I didn't want to pass through to be a foreign correspondent anymore, like I used to be. Like, my passion for pursuing this is not as strong as it would be. And even so leads to the feeling of anxiety. And to be honest, I've never felt as anxious as I did when I'm close to graduating. Well, the more I get close to graduating from uni, the more I realise that I'm ready for putting an end for my academic journey at a school. When I was in a grade 12 at high school, everyone like my teacher, my friends, my family members told me that the best way to get a good job, to get a well-paid job and be successful and be able to make a living is to go into college. You can't do whatever you like after graduating from college. There are so many doors, opportunities that are waiting for you outside after graduation. But whenever I think about this, whenever I reflects on what everyone told me about this related to graduating. I was answered, nervous of everything and it seems like and it seems like 
I don't want to open a bunch of doors, a bunch of opportunities that are waiting for me outside after graduating from college because I think I no longer have so much passion for pursuing this major at uni and I'm not sure if I can seek for a well-paid job that relates to my major at school because as a matter of fact, studying international relations is not as popular as other majors such as business, marketing and you know what? The worst part is that while I'm in the progress of overthinking and feeling nervous, having anxiety in terms of graduating for what I do after graduating from college. A lot of my friends are work to get a good job, a well paid a well paid job. I even buy a house, buy cars. Look at me. So I think the best thing I can do right now to get myself off this messy thoughts in my head and stop overthinking is that I need to focus on what I do to get everything done, to get my work done and just you know concentrate on my own journey. Because for me, I'm not living for my own life. I'm also living to take care of my family, to take care of my sisters. I don't know other people but for me it's my idea for life and sometimes I feel so really guilty for wasting so much time for overthinking and constantly comparing myself to other people, especially my friends in terms of studying and working and stuff like that. And to finish up, I suppose that this way the fact that my passion for pursuing this major or even finding a, a job relates to my major at uni right now is not as strong as it is to be. I'm still trying my best to get my work done at least at school first. For the rest of my journey at uni, I try my best to to focus on my work and also create memorable experience and good memories with my friends at uni. Well before I say goodbye to you guys, I just want to let you know that like I said earlier, there are definitely some people, especially students at uni who feel the same way as me, graduates in anxiety. But I hope you guys will remember that there's no journey is better than the another one. Everyone has our journey, even when it comes to studying or working or even relationship. So I suppose it's normal to, to, to feel nervous, to get answers before graduating from college. But it's better for you guys if you can think clearly and and soon come with the best solution to tackle their own problem and focusing on your own journey. Everything will be fine. Okay, that's it for the episode of Coffee Mobile Cats today. I hope you guys are doing very well. Have a nice day and goodbye.